Hello and welcome to another video from Mastering QuickBooks Online. Uh, today we're going to cover an important uh, procedure this time of year. We're going to go over how to select, fill out, and print your 1099 forms for your 1099 vendors. So as usual, we'll start here from the home page. We're going to go to the vendor drop down menu, to the vendor list. That pops up on the bottom left hand corner. You'll see prepare 1099 miscellaneous forms. From this screen, you're going to see we have three steps to go through. Uh, step number one is where we're going to select the vendors that we want to track. Now, there's a couple different options here. You may have selected some of these already um, from your vendor setup. There's actually a checkbox in the vendor list and the vendor information that will allow you to select them as a 1099 vendor. If not, you can still add them uh, from here by selecting them, adding them to right, and it will check that box and make them a 1099 vendor. Okay. The second one is the probably about the most important thing you're going to run across when setting these up. Uh, if this is not done right, obviously, then you're going to uh, be missing some information on your 1099s, and that's the assign accounts. What we'll do here is we're going to use box seven as our uh, non or as our example, the non-employee compensation. You notice in the drop-down menu, uh, we're going to scroll towards the very top. We're going to click on select multiple. When you first open it up, you're not going to have anything over here on the the right-hand side. What I want you to do is go through and select whichever expense accounts you have used that are associated with vendors for their 1099s. Okay, now this is all of them. You can't just select a few. It's got to be all of the expense accounts associated with those vendors that you want to have on your 1099s. Once you have those selected over there, you'll click OK. You'll come back. You'll click OK out here again. Now at this time, you'll notice it's going to refresh. We'll come down here. And we're going to show the 1099 vendors that meet the threshold for tax year 2009. Uh, you'll notice it looks like we have, what, uh, about six here with all but one have some red information. Anytime you have anything missing from your vendor information, i.e. Uh, an address, tax ID, uh, obviously our other two down here have everything missing, um, this will allow you to click on these, okay, open up your vendor, allows you to type in the information, And you'll notice when we get all this filled in. Okay, we'll save. Screen refreshes, and hopefully now Billy Bob up here. Billy Bob, so that's coming straight. So now you see there's no red. So you want to make sure and edit those before you go to the print. Okay. Then you have a couple choices. The first one is print 1099s. So you click on that. Yeah, obviously it's still going ask you for your warnings over here. And what I recommend doing for these, uh, as soon as this pops up, what, what we recommend doing first is you want to set your alignment or at least print this, the first two if you select the first two out of that list. Okay, back here you can just check two. Um, bring those up to preview and print on a blank paper first before you use your 1099 forms. That will allow you to check the alignment. And once you print, um, and you come back in here, you can adjust the alignment down here at the bottom. Okay, there's also a sample that you can print down here at the bottom instead of doing the ones above if you'd rather. Okay, yeah, so pull up here and we'll show you. Now you'll notice though on the print sample, you get one company instead of the two. So what we recommend doing is you can check your reader settings here, but select two vendors up above here to print. That'll print one page top and bottom. That, that'll tell you whether or not you need to do your vertical or horizontal alignment. Um, and then you'll, that'll also check your alignment of both the top and bottom selections. After you're done with that, you'll have the 1099 information sheet, which is the information you can use to fill out your 1096 form. Um, once that opens up, you can print that out. That'll give you those totals. You notice this form does not use uh, Adobe Reader, so you can open this up, you pr click print, gives you your box of information and your totals. Alrighty, that concludes this video. Stay tuned for our next video in our series.